All right, let's see how this coin unboxing goes. I got a lot of family in the house, and they not they promised not to make any any noise at all. So we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> oh, got a cobweb there. All right, so this is for Mr. John Kitty Southworth off of uh, Facebook. Coin, constant coins and collectibles. Let's see what we got in here today. I already took the uh, address off, so nobody would be able to send me mysterious. Christmas, late Christmas gifts and early birthday gifts, although I am looking for a chain cent, 1793. So if you have an extra one, feel free to send it away. Most everybody has my address anyway, because I buy from everybody. So I had started to unwrap this one, but uh, it was just a real quick one to try and help us out so we could get this done slightly faster. Um, I'm not sure how much stuff we have in this box. Because I just got one not too long ago from John. So, let's see what we got in here today. Uh oh almost knocked my camera down. Good packing, as always. Uh, let's go with the first little bag here. That probably was just one show that uh, we purchased. So, let's see what we got in here today. Get the scissor action going. See what kind of goodies we got. And then we'll show some random stuff that I just got here recently and just something that I pulled out to show a buddy of mine. What a two set piece. Oh no, shield nickel. This is a shield nickel with rays. Take a look at this thing. I thought it was in good shape. I bought it from my one of my type sets. I'm currently working on three different type sets. So this one I thought was a good deal at the price. Take a look at that thing shield nickel and it has rays on the reverse they only made that for two years 1866 and 1867 so even though it's typeset these went for a little bit longer than that but uh, only two years that you can get them with rays this one's in 1867 got it for 30 dollars i thought it was a good buy we'll go in an album today today all right next item we got got this Kingdom of Hawaii Quarter. And if you'll take a look at this thing, it is proof like, which I'm sure is pretty darn rare. I don't know how rare. I don't know if it would actually grade proof like, but it is very much proof like. Take a look at those fields. It's absolutely amazing, and I thought it was a good deal. Look at that thing. How is that not proof like to me, to you? Um, we had originally thought it might have been proof, but it looks like just proof like, but I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe one day I'll actually send it in. As you can see, that one was not cheap. This was just a lot of um, silver coins from Europe. Can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was a hundred bucks. Love the designs on these things. Pretty sure it was a hundred dollars. Look at the design on these things. It's really, really awesome. The eagles in the reverse. They are very innovative on their designs, I'm telling you. Same thing on that one, just the circulated version instead of the proof version. going to add it to my silver stock over here. Really cool designs. Different kind of eagle again. Looks like Santa Claus. Very cool. I like these. Look at that thing. It's very cool. Anyhow, uh, those cost me $100. I thought it was a good deal. I like it. All right. Let's see what else we got in this bag. Looks like a lot of silver. Let me see if I can get this open without dropping coins. Got a little Eye of the Tiger going on over there. Let's see if I can be as good as Stallone was. 
think Sarah almost laughed over there for a second. Got the eye of the tiger going on for coins over here. <laughs> I know. It's a world record. All right. Let's see what I bought here. What did I get here? I paid 135 bucks for probably $140 worth of silver. I don't know. It was a lot. $6.80 face value. And I paid $135 bucks for it. I think that's a pretty good deal. What do y'all think? Got some older Walking Liberty halves. Usually people pay a little bit extra premium for those. I thought it was a good deal. I'll have to go through it a little bit harder late, uh, later and check and see exactly what I got in there. Look at this. I thought this was super, super cool. How often do you see an elongated Barber Half Dollar? And it has an awesome, awesome reverse. And I got actually two coins in this lot, both of the same price. I think it was $27 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. But an elongated Barber Half. Look how cool that is. And it's got a crazy, crazy design on it. We're going to pull it out because it's not going to hurt this coin. Look at how cool that is. And you're going to be sad that you didn't buy this because none of y'all are ever going to get the chance to own it again. It says something about Valley Forge on it. Because this is staying in my collection forever. Maybe you'll get it whenever my sons decide to sell all my stuff when I die. I'm going to put this in my coat pocket. Bury it with me. Y'all are never going to get it. I got it. That's really cool. I like it. So that one's going away. Most likely never to be seen again. Unless I'm poor and destitute. Which might happen at the rate I buy coins. Let's see what else we got in this lot. Soon we'll be living on a prayer because that's all we got left because I ain't got no money left. Look how cool that is. Very cool. I've got one of these. It has a different design. I believe mine has a, the other one has a uh, turtle on it. So I saw this one. I was like, I got to have that one to go along with it. So I got it to go along with it. That was lot number 23 the other night. Very cool stuff. I got more stuff in here than I thought. What else do we got? I know there's a couple of proof sets in here, so I can release those. Got to be surgical precision over here. I should have been a doctor, I'm telling you. Do have a couple of proof sets in here. I know one's a 57. The other one might have been a 62. But I know one's a 57 for sure. That feels like a 57. 57's had these... It was weird. It's the only year that has the cardboard like this. So you can always, if you if it's original packaging, you can always tell a 57. Crazy enough. Crazy. See, look at that. I had no reason to believe otherwise that that was a 57. And the dime is actually Cameo. Look at that. At least on the obverse. We'll see about the reverse. In 1957, the nickel is the key for uh, for Cameo. It is the considered the second key of the series. Uh, 57 nickels are tough, tough, tough to find in Cameo. The uh, 52 is the first key, and then you got the 57 as the second key. That is not a Cameo, so can't reverse on this time is not Cameo. And the front's really only light anyway, but at the price, I thought it was a great deal. So thank you, uh, John. Appreciate that opportunity to pick that up. This one is, let's see what else. I think it was two 57s that I ended up purchasing. Uh, so, yeah, it was two because, I again, I look in here and I see the, the cardboard. And I'm like, that looks like 57 as well. That is 57 cardboard. If you'll look in all the proof sets, you'll see that only 57 has a cardboard that looks like this. 
Believe it or not, I'm not even lying. Look at that quarter. That is solid cameo. Let's see what the reverse looks like here in a second. But that obverse is definitely a solid, solid, solid cameo. Uh, reverse is meh, but that was cool. I always like seeing cameos. I, I found, I was at the coin shop the other day, and I about fell out of my chair because I asked to see the proof sets and came across a 1956, and I saw it, and I'm like, pull it out in the reverse, is solid, solid cameo. See, see what I mean? These are this is on the '60s. Has the little cardboard like this. But anyway, the it was a 1956, and I pull it out, and it comes out reverse first. And I'm like, oh my, that's a deep, deep, deep cameo. Absolutely incredible. I turn it over. I'm like, that is an incredible obverse cameo. I'm like, oh my gosh. I said the only the best ones that they made were the thumbprint. I don't know how much y'all know about cameos or not, but the thumbprint are the ones that, they're the ones that make the number one cameo uh, die variety. And I started looking at it in my, I, acting calm around them because I don't want them to know what I found. So I get it and I'm like, how much? And they tell me, I don't even balk at the price. I just say, I'll take that one. I start looking at it better and it is the thumbprint believe it or not. So I got the number one die variety of all cameos of 1956 series and I picked it up. I picked it up for the standard price. Oh my, my, what have we got here? Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Some of my favorites. Look at that. I'm gonna be twizzling tonight, baby. Look at that, Jolly Ranchers. He knows what I like. And it's not even Chantilly Lace. Green. Those are my favorite right there. The green and the cherry. Mm. More Jolly Rancher. What do we got here? Fall Harvest 20 Cigars. What do we got in here? Uh-oh. I think my wife's been buying stuff on my account. In fact, I know she had. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. What is it? <laughs> Come take a look. Is it a coin? No, it's not a coin. What happened? Been <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's a 1967 <laughs> shiny full cameo dove. <laughs> there you go. And then, uh, oh, it looks like I bought some Indian jewelry of some sort. Look at that. What's that? We got to support John. There you go. There you go. Small businesses. We paid $89 for that one. I think that's a hell of a deal, honestly. And then we paid $30 for that dove. And then we got one more piece. Ooh, what's that? Oh, man, that is awesome. I like it. Thanks, John. <laughs> oh, we paid a little bit more for that one because it's gold. There you go. Man. Enjoy. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, yes, yes. I bought some stamps. Check this out. Check that. It's already matted out and everything. I'm just going to put it in the frame. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Bugs Bunny. Had to have it. Had to have it. Mr. McCoy outbid me on the John Wayne. <laughs> it's all right, though, because I got Star Wars stamps. How cool is that? That's going up in my media room. That is so cool. I can't remember what I paid for the lot on this one. It, it, it was, I was in a bidding war and I didn't care. I think it was like 27 bucks or something like that. Anyway, that's going away. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought something else. Oh yes, the Native American set of stamps. I thought this was super cool. Look at that. Look at the artwork on the inside. And look at those. That is so freaking cool. Anyway, I liked it. I don't know what it's worth. I didn't care what it was worth. I liked it. Native American heritage in my family, so I had to get it. Loved it. Oh, let me put it back in this original envelope over here. But uh, I thought this was super cool. Um, Thank you, John, for all you do for our coin community. 
And that's all we got today for John. I'll be doing one here in a little bit for Mr. Chauncey Beckham. Oh, I said I was going to show you all a couple of really cool things. Look at this thing. Two ounce replica of the Peace Dollar. Look how high relief that sucker is. Bam, baby. Look how thick that is. I'm down with the thickness. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Whoo, baby. Oh, and another cool thing. A buddy of mine said, man, I've been thinking about getting a Fugio scent. And I said, well, I will show you the ugliest Fugio scent that you're ever going to see in your life. And he goes, yeah, man, I want to see it. Because he wants to buy him one. And I said, take a look at this sucker. Look at that. But it, guess what? It's a Fugio scent. Fugio, Fugio, however you want to call it. You can even see part of the date over here still. It says right here, Geo. So it's probably a Fugio. And it has the model right there down there. So that is a Fugio scent, Fugio scent. And this is just a really cool item. Um, this is a Condor token. It says on the reverse, may the knave of Jacobin clubs never get a trick. You can still see some original redness on there. And look at this. That's a, the end of pain. And even this has got, look at the, look at the luster still on that thing. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, really cool coins on here. Hope you guys enjoyed, learned a little bit, maybe even. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can either PM me on Facebook or here on YouTube. And this is going to get posted up. And if you like it, follow. And if not, well, there's probably to be something else you'll like out there. See you, bye.